Good morning, Scorpio ladies. Welcome back to Will's Cards from Nancy Tarot. Ladies, what I like to do is to go on and just give you your 2020 general romantic reading. Um, and ladies, again, this reading is valid until the end of this year. And basically, what I like to do with this reading, as I've done before, is just to um, share with you the predominant or prevalent male or men energy that I'm kind of seeing to coming towards you this year, as well as kind of give you some detailed attributes about um, these men, as well as uh, perhaps what you might experience or what you may have already experienced and what you can expect. And so, ladies, as always, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. If this reading resonates, please take a few moments to go on and also give it a thumbs up as we go along throughout the reading. Okay, so today I've decided to go on and use my regular um, cards here in addition to using, you know, two other cards just to give you a bit more advice into your situation or to into this yearly situation, basically. So I'm going to go on and get started with just... You know, citing a few general observations, and then we'll just move on into your individual cards, okay? You know, I've been noticing that for a lot of you, it seems that you're, you're, you have more of a long distance or an internet type romance connection that I'm kind of getting here for you guys as well. I'm also feeling that the man or the men that, tend, that or who are kind of coming towards you, they're very sexual, you know, even ladies well endowed. I'm also feeling that they may even have a bit of a um, a drug or an alcohol type problem. They may even could potentially be a a potential stalker. They, they're just they're making me feel like they're codependent in some sense. Okay, I'm also seeing um, a very athletic or a seductive type person. Okay, who is very very controlling. You know, very possessive. You know, even potentially for some of you, he may even. Um, be a bodybuilder of some sort, okay, or works in martial arts or does something with, you know, weightlifting, okay? I'm also seeing that this man is showing in this reading to be attractive. Um, he seems to be a bit selfish at times, and it looks like, ladies, it seems like it's a lot of you are going to be having some experiences, it seems, with someone, you know, from your past, I'm feeling, that's very depressed, very negative type personality. And for a lot of you, I'm picking up an older um, type person, okay? A burly um, type person, okay? A person who is potentially very well known in his career or, or well known in things that he's doing, even potentially famous for some of you, okay? So we're going to go on and get started. Um, as indicated, I'm going to go on and get started with your bottom card here that we have here. We have um, that seven of spades. And ladies, that connects with air signs, okay? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and Mercury is the ruler. And so ladies, this card is all about various types of messages, you know, emails and news and, you know, telephonic, you know, communications of all sorts. So it shows that uh, perhaps the individual, many of you will, or might have already had some dealings with appears to be at a distance from you, or this might well be, as I have already suggested, from the onset on the internet type romance. So this is the energy that is kind of pervading. It looks like you two are at a distance in some sense, okay? And some of you even might be even waiting on a call to kind of hear from this person. And this energy certainly says that you will indeed receive some type of communication, okay? And I'm feeling that, you know, with this person, he's very professional. You know, I, I feel very articulate and intelligent. Um, slim built, I'm kind of getting, you know, um, and ladies, for some of you, he might even work in a, like the postal type office or, or even in fact, ladies, some type of an office, you know, type setting here. Okay. Now we have this jack of spades there, ladies. Okay. And ladies, that denotes, a, um, it denotes both a water sign, which is can cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. This has a dual quality with this card as well as denoting a fire sign, okay? Leo, Aries, as well as Sagittarius. And this card has, has two rulers, and the rulers are, in fact, Mercury, I mean, I'm sorry, Mars and Pluto. So this card, ladies, is all about, you know, fights and 
quarrels and disagreements and conflicts of all sorts, ladies, and often more than likely tend to lead to some type of a separation or some type of repetitive type feeling of kind of going through the same old love game as you or hearing that same old love song over and over again or just going through that same old romantic situation time and time again. Okay, so maybe one of you might have kind of, you know, kind of been kind of, or you perhaps may have been working hard to kind of maintain, ladies, some sort of quality of equilibrium between your work and home. You know, I'm kind of seeing here, you know, when you're kind of, you know, looking at that card. Okay, now let's move right along to your next card here. We have that turn of clubs. Okay, and ladies, that also refers to a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And this card is connected with Jupiter and it's all about, ladies, our finances. So this person is quite nurturing, I'm feeling, yet controlling. And as I indicated, he appears to be somewhat, he appears to be very athletic and he even might even work at a gym or something, but I'm just getting that he's kind of stout, you know, I'm getting an older um, type personality and he might even work in a very, very high or successful type position, even a food and beverage type company, or even in fact, for some of you ladies, he might even be a director, you know, of some sort. Okay. So what we're going to do now, ladies, is you know, just go on and move on to this next card there. And we have that, that Ace of Diamonds card. And that connects with uh, Earth-type elements, you know, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. And with this card, the sun rules it. So this card is all about, you know, happiness and success. So it seems that this man, you know, is clearly shows that he has a very nice smile and he's very protective, but yet again, also it kind of further emphasizing the controlling type personality that he can sometimes be. And for some of you, he might even have freckles, you know, but he at best is certainly an optimist and he might even work with electrical type work or he appears to be, as I suggested, well known or kind of works in some type of a, uh, a high position okay so ladies what i like to do because the next card here represents him i'm just going to go on and just give you a more a more of a synthesized story or a coherent story and what i see that you may have already experienced or what might in fact ladies be in the process of something that you're experiencing here so it looks like just at, you know having combined you know these cards here it seems that many of you were or perhaps you will be involved in a rather it looks like intense connection with it looks like it's a lot of bickering and conflicts and fighting of all sorts including you know very very great passion and sex and, and, and even you know kind of make up sex i'm kind of getting you know with a very i'm feeling controlling type person with whom you kind of really want or you want a relationship okay so let's move forward and see what, you know, what further details that we can gleam out in terms of what your future seems to be offering you, okay? We have that um, Nine of Diamonds card there, and, and ladies, that refers to, um, once again, an Earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? And this card is certainly all about deadness or a sense of feeling dead in some sense, okay? And major changes, and even, ladies, Transformations of all sorts, including ladies, ending, you know, a relationship that hasn't been working, okay? It's all about depression and really, ladies, coming to an understanding that we just have to accept things that have become obsolete in our lives and to kind of relinquish the guilt that we may have or may be feeling as a result, okay? And so your next card here, ladies, is that king of spades there. And ladies, that card denotes an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And this card is all about peace, happiness, and maturity. You know, it certainly represents a mature relationship that you have, or even for some of you, 
you know, after incessantly kind of waiting, this card kind of shows a relationship more than likely with someone older, ladies, that I'm kind of getting here. You know, and I'm feeling that some of you might kind of need to kind of be a bit more patient in your situation. You know, as this person, uh, like I said, I'm seeing multiple men here, but this person might have more virtuous intent, you know, despite the, um, uh, you know, not, I mean, instead of the other person that you're dealing with, or more so than that um, past person that I'm getting here that many of you may have dealt with, okay? And then last but not least, you have that star card there that refers to, I mean, I'm sorry, the six of hearts card, and that refers to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio, and Jupiter is the ruler. So it shows that this person is certainly, again, a very successful person, might even be a life coach or a counselor or even be involved in some type of web designing, okay? Or he could even potentially work in, in like an IT, you know, type business as well, ladies. So let's go on and consolidate the cards here of your future and just to see, you know, what additional things that I can add to what have ar has already been said, okay? So I see a problem that would kind of crop up uh, with you in this relationship and it might even potentially, ladies, cause some type of a separation, you know, even one that might be a bit painful for you, okay? Because it appears to be with, it looks like someone from your past, I'm kind of getting, who might be a bit older, but I'm kind of feeling that fear not because happiness seems that it's going to still come and things are going to be restored because it looks like that in your relationship, you seem to have a lot of on, on, on and off type situations okay so again this your reading is kind of asking you to be a bit more patient because a new path it looks to me lady ladies are is certainly on its way for you okay so let's go on and get into these last two oracle cards here just to just give you a bit more part and advice and the first card is dark as fear and ladies you know as you would imagine this card is certainly all about doubt and releasing you know this doubt so it's showing that Perhaps a lot of fears have really paralyzed you in the past to the point where you are just hesitant to kind of make a decision on anything, you know. So this card is kind of telling you to test, take, take, you know, take a step back, you know, and kind of, you know, do some soul searching and realize and kind of come to an understanding of what really is kind of troubling you and then find ways to kind of, you know, make things better. And with having this giving and receiving card here, it's just telling you to kind of be more open to receiving advice from others and don't be as stubborn, you know, when someone is trying to offer advice and, you know, try new things. So Scorpio women, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Once again, if this reading resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. And if anyone wishes to have a more personal reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.